Hello there you and welcome to one million zombies. We're about to storm this Imperial Guard mega fortress. With multiple lines of defense and artillery installations, the zombies surely have their work cut out for them. And if you do enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing as that's the best way to support the channel. Now, let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. This is the big one. Oh my god, the zombies are surely going to pay for attacking an Imperial Guard fortress. The audacity of these grey-skinned little zombies. Look at them. These are the speed zombies that we have here today, ladies and gentlemen. Way, way faster than your standard zombie. Think 28 days later, running at you, screaming, trying to tear your flesh off. That's exactly what we've come for here today. So we've got this first Imperial Guard line here, made up largely of conscripts. And already the Nomas are going straight at them, gnashing at their claws, waiting to taste the Imperial Guard flesh. Now, also on this side over here, we have also got another defense on the side of this seemingly impathable cliff face. Well, the zombies do not see it as so. And already, look at this, a gigantic force of zombies is about to ascend up this through the multiple ranks of guardsmen there. Now, ultimately, each one of these uh, little ranks here, so you can see like, we've got one along there, we've got a box formation, and then another rank there. Each one has about a 1,000 guardsmen in. The, the defense has only been, been like 12,000 troops here in total. It's a skeleton crew. However, they are holding at things like these narrow pathways, which the zombies are going to have to try and grind their way out. And, of course, we've got artillery guns on them as well, such as this one over here, already providing overwatch. I don't even know where that shall... Oh, I saw it just pop up over there. Look at that. Let's go follow this one down. Here it goes. Smash into that zombie horde, which instantaneously just fills in these gaps as the artillery stops raining down into the horde here. Now... The place I'm really interested in is over here at the moment, because this area in particular, it can hold for quite a while because the zombies have got such a narrow pathway to go through. This is the weak point of the defense. The zombies able to amass their forces here. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're paying for it heavily with their lives at the moment, trying to take on our guardsmen. You can see that we've got another Imperial conscript line directly behind the first one here. However, Towards the top of the hill, we do have a regiment of Death Corps providing this insane overwatch. Look at that. There's no way they can miss a single shot as the artillery over there still rains down. Now, it doesn't like the zombies have actually managed to capitulate this first line of guardsmen pretty damn quickly, actually. Oh, my God, look at them go. It's like a Black Friday sale. It's an all-you-can-eat Imperial Guard meat buffet at the moment for the zombies. And look at the corpses gliding down the mountain here for all the zombies and the nomers. Let's get back over to our front line on this side. How are we doing? Okay, so we're still holding firm. The zombies are paying a price, but look over here. The zombies have actually started to push this area. And as the blood starts to trickle down the mountainside. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that is ultra violent here. Little Timmy, Pawn's very own son, is probably going to be quite happy by the end of this. All this blood has got to pool up somewhere. But yes, indeed, the zombies now trying to push up this narrow pathway here. And they are being met by a stalwart resistance of conscripts on their side. Now, what will be really interesting is uh, when the uh, zombies get close enough, this artillery gun might start firing on the pathway. And I'm really excited to see what happens when that... I've got a, got a feeling that lots of zombies are going to go flying everywhere. It's going to be absolutely glorious. Now, let's go back over here to our front line. 23,000 zombies killed so far. It's actually not that many, but remember, it's only a skeleton crew defending this. Doesn't look like the Zomers are making their way through our second line of conscripts here. However, the real fight is yet ahead of them. The top of the hill is the most fortified section here. These outer defenses are merely here to hold the enemy in place. Because realistically, we've only expended 3,000 troops while dealing 27,000 kills. Now look at the top of the hill here. Much more defended, especially this little pathway. You can see that the Cadians have sort of got this little uh, overwatch area. And they've got that for this side of the battle here. Because when the zombies break through, they can actually path all the way up to this area here. And there's also 
this other little strange path down here that the zombies can actually path through. However, they've got to get through our poison grey first. They've already got the shovels out. They're already squealing in the lights. And the zombies are just fainting as they get towards them. Oh my god, look at all them corpses just pouring down the mountainside. We've even got a proper body bobsleigh going on here now. Oh, actually, they're all joining into like a, a single conglomerate. Oh, look at that. That's horrific. Imagine if the zombies actually had morale. How morale destroying that would be for an army actually attacking this area. But the zombies don't have morale. They don't care. They're just going to fire more zombies at the situation and hope that it solves the problem. Back down here on our very front line, these conscripts, man, doing an excellent job of keeping these nommers in place. The zombies really struggling to actually push, though. you got to say, with every single loss that the Imperial Guard take over here, the rate of advancement for the zombies will increase. Let's go back over this side. I want to see if that artillery gun has yet started firing down here. Uh, it doesn't look like it has yet. Come on, give us the money shot. No, it's it's firing down there into the big zombie horde. You can't blame it. It's getting, probably getting thousands of kills by doing that. Speaking of thousands of kills, let's go over here. Oh, it looks like the zombies are actually starting to get some uh, forces here. Look, they're actually starting to gain a bit of momentum. A bit of thickness to the line at the front. I mean, it hasn't stopped the kill ratio from the bodies. Totally oh my god, that's absolutely fantastic. So many corpses of the enemies are falling down here. However, this is the risk factor. They are getting outflanked ever so slightly. The guardsmen up here trying to put down their firepower. But it's just not enough to help out the poor Kriegsman. I mean, I say poor Kriegsmen, they're probably very happy to die this way. They are serving the Emperor. They've got a shovel in one hand, a hellbowl uh, last rifle in the other. And they're just going to town on a bunch of undead. And they are creating some really fantastic artwork for the front. <laughs> Look at these lines. I wonder if we zoom out. Ten sometimes when you zoom out. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see. You can see them uh, lines now. There's about four or five of these lines all coming down. And it looks like they're pooling up under these zombies here. Yeah, there we go. You can just see underneath the zombies. All the bodies are piling up there. Oh, that artillery strike. The cannon from up above just rained down death into this line here. Oh, there's another one. If we can get one in the center. Oh, come on. That would be so fantastic. That would make a very happy pinky. Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, zombies. Oh, come on. Give us one in the center here. Oh, Lord of Artillery. Thank you. <laughs> the gods of artillery and accuracy are being kind to us today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. That one missed. Can we get another one? Go on. Show us your majestic nature. Show us what you can do. <laughs> yes. Fantastic stuff. Oh, poor zombies. A lesson in roly-poly from Imperial Guard Artillery Installations. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. How are we doing on this side? Look at all this gore. Oh, my God. <gasps> the zombies just got shot at here by an artillery shell. Yes! Come on. Let's get another one. Give us that money shot, baby. Give us that money shot. Oh, it's so close. It just missed. It sent one poor zombie flying through the air then. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> zombies fly through the air. Look, that's a terrifying sight, though. Look at all these... Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord Artillery. But look at all these zombies here. That is a terrifying sight because they meander their way up this narrow pathway. I love that, though. I was hoping this would happen, that the artillery guns would just start annihilating the pathway. Oh, look, it actually split, uh, it's been spreading the blood up the side of the walls as well now. That is brilliant stuff. Thank you, Mr. Artillery. How are we doing on this side, though? Are, are the Kriegers holding out? Oh, no! They're starting to fall! <laughs> Even with the insane artillery! There we go. Look, this is the pathway I was on about earlier. The zombies now flanking right up into the side of these Imperial Guardsmen. The poor bewildered conscripts wondering what the hell was going on. There was meant to be Kriegers over here. 
<laughs> oh no, it looks like the Krieg line just completely fell. The zombies are making a beeline for it. Now we have got another group of Kriegers at the top over here. And they are supported by conscripts and we have got the artillery. The artillery is going to be firing point blank into these zombies. Oh, poor old boys in grey. I mean the undead ones, not the living ones. <laughs> Look at that. The cascade of death meanders away down the side of the mountain. Along with the blood and eye core of the enemy. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So, come on then, look at this. These guys need a promotion. These conscripts have been holding this out since the start of the battle. Roughly about 10 minutes, something like that. For conscripts, that's insanely, insanely good. I mean, look at this group over here. They've barely been under attack for three minutes, and half of their number have already been wiped out. So the fact that them ones down there have been doing that, absolutely brilliant. And I feel kind of sorry for the zombies on this side. That's exactly why I feel sorry for the zombies on this side. Oh boy. They are taking stupendous losses here. Now, the kill count says 91,000. However, that's a bit inaccurate because the artillery, when it sends zombies flying through the air, they're counted as environmental kills. And environmental kills don't actually count to either side. So, the artillery only actually kills one zombie at a time. And that's the shell that the zombie hits. The zombies that get flung through the air like that, that isn't counted as a kill for the Imperials, unfortunately. So, yeah, there is going to be a bit of a disparity in the kills here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you can see that on YouTube. No, maybe not. But so many zombies are tumbling down the side of this thing now. And still, loads more are waiting for their turn. They're just lining up. Look at that. That's like a movie where the zombies are making their way to like a capital city and they're on like a highway or something like that. Chasing down a car. <laughs> I make them sound like the dogs, like the neighborhood dog chasing down a car. How are we actually doing? Okay, so the zombies finally broke through our conscript line on the front line. And they're now trying to attack these guys. Now, this is a really nice little defense that they've got going here. Because, <laughs> look at this, the zombies actually can't path tilt to them until they get up to this area here. But by the time they get up to this area, they're distracted even by this squad here. So these guys should be safe. Well, okay. I was going to say, these guys should be safe for quite a while. However, the zombies have decided that now that they've killed enough of the guys at the top, this Imperial Guard Regiment has suddenly become on the dinner table. Oh my god, look at them zombies now pouring in. They're doing this weird little U-turn, look at that. <laughs> oh, someone needs to cue the Benny Hill music there. Let's go back to the rest of our line now, where officially the assault has begun on the conscript flank. Trying to hold this narrow pathway. They have got a lot of support. They have got a group of conscripts here. We have got the Cadiers here. And we've also still got the Death Corps on our front line. Who have been doing a bang up job of keeping these zombies at bay. Probably thanks to the artillery as well. That's also been, yeah, definitely helping out massively as well. The zombies have managed to push up all other areas though. The all outer extremities and front lines have collapsed. Even our front line over here has finally collapsed. The artillery section is now under threat from the greys. Oh my god, there's so many of them, man. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm never going to get tired of that. That is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, look at this. We've also got this lovely little overwatch happening now. Now, the Cadians here. These guys are the most powerful infantry currently on the battlefield. They deal more damage than the Death Corps. However, they can't take as much punishment. Death Corps are a bit better at taking on like more frontline jobs. These guys are a little bit weak and die quite easily to melee troops. But their firepower is kind of unmatched at the moment. Maybe by the artillery, which is really turning the zombies into this lovely little waterfall. Let's actually, can we see any of the body parts? Oh my god, we, have, we, have we even made a dent in the zombie army here yet? We've killed over 100,000. Yeah, look at this. We, they've actually built up bodies here now that they can just path over. It looks like we might lose this to small detachment here of Imperial Guardsmen. 
A couple of them might even be safe, though, because this looks like some dodgy terrain. I don't know if the zombies are going to be able to path into that area. Maybe when everyone else is dead, that's probably when they go for it. That's tend to how, like, the AI, if there's an area that they can't get to where enemies are, they'll sort of ignore them until all enemies that are killable are killed, and then they'll try to swarm the last guy. But our front line here has been holding out magnificently against the onslaught. Conscripts even over here with the support. They're taking a pounding, but look at that artillery coming to save the day as always. Now, it might be a bit of a different story when these guys down here die, because all these zombies are then are going to be pushing up that area. We are at risk of losing this artillery gun. <laughs> we are at risk of losing this artillery gun also. The zombies here, the relentless push forward has actually garnered them from ground. We have almost covered the entire side of this mountain in blood. There's just this one little area that we need to work on. We haven't managed to paint it all. Oh my god. The Rolling Stones really needed to call that song Paint It Red, Not Black, because it would have been perfect for this. We are starting to get a tiny little lake here. Little Timmy can get out to his little rubber ducky and stick it in there. No rubber dinghy times just yet, unfortunately. But I bet Corn is very happy here. If little Timmy's happy, Corn's definitely happy. Look at this, though. On our far, far side here. There's a, it does feel like... I don't know. Are the zombies just pushing the infantry back here? Or have they actually made a bit of ground? It's hard to tell. There's a definite dent of some sort here. But it also looks like the uh, the death core here are bunched up a little bit more than the rest of them. Things are going good for the Imperials, though. Even with only less than 4,000 defenders remaining. They are laying the hurt into that zombie horde. Man, I've had so many money shots now. I just... Oh, look at that. A poor zombie got splattered into the wall there. Yeah, that, that, that's probably... That's exactly how it happened. <laughs> Look at this pathway as well. There's not a single part of the floor left. It's just all covered in the corpses of the dead. And undead. <laughs> oh my god, he just it really... It literally is. Every single centimeter is just covered in dead. How are we doing over here, guys? Have we got... Okay, let... It does look like they can get to it. Oh, this is a horrific situation. You wouldn't, would you? You just... Yeah. I would jump myself, mate. I would jump also. Looks like the uh, <laughs> they can't actually get to these boys here. Oh, no, they can't. There we go. They managed to get down. The poor old conscripts here. Sacrificing their lives for the greater God. The rest of the zombies have lost interest completely, though. And now we get the final big surge here. So that only leaves this last attack vector over their side that the zombies need to break through before the center defense is completely under assault from all angles. Like I said, the artillery here has been working over time. We have finally filled in our little bit of uh, colouring in that needed to be done on the uh, cliffs here. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to lose this artillery gun very, very soon. Go on, give us another point blank. You know you want to. Oh, there it is. Boom, baby. Kaboom. So, Imperial's holding out really nicely, actually. Oh, accidentally activating RTS mode there. But look at this. We can see now that Acadians are actually lending their full of higher support to that front line. Before, they couldn't actually see down here. Jesus, man. Look how fast them zombies are. Oh, they are really... They're terrifyingly fast. Just smashing into that. No wonder the Imperials aren't catching a break here. Just the constant flow of troops pouring into the centre. Oh no, the artillery gun has finally fallen. The conscripts are the only things left here now, defending this flank. And then we'll have to rely... God. On the uh, Cadians and the conscripts here. Like I said, we still have got this Death Corps regiment here. We still have got our artillery gun over this side. With a bunch more of the conscripts trying to defend it. But the zombies still had a stupendous amount of forces left. As an artillery shell just destroyed a bunch of zombies there. Look at them all tumbling down the hill. Oh, fantastic stuff. So, zombies now trying to push this area then. Really need to get this flank cleaned up if you're a fan of the zombies. You want to get this fan, uh, this fan, this side cleaned up 
so that they can start pushing right into these Imperial Guardsmen here, distracting that firepower. What will happen then is that this side will be able to push it properly. Look at all these zombies here queuing up, waiting for their go. <laughs> oh, there's so much death and gore over this battlefield. I absolutely love it. How are we doing on this side, chaps? Still holding firm? I do think that we are taking losses over here. And we are being punched up. I think it's a little bit of both. The zombies are inflicting damage ever so slightly, but as they're pouring in so fast, they're also pushing... <laughs> they're also pushing back troops. But what I think we can do here very quickly is we can hit a little bit of a time-lapse camera. Now, we're going to try to capture as much of it as we can here. You know what? We'll come over this side. We'll capture it from over here. We should be able to see the, uh, the pathway down that side, falter, and we can actually see the progress of the zombies over here. So, we'll be back in a second. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we can see here that the zombies have made a little bit of progress now. Having finally pushed back some of our Imperial defenders here, the Krieg tried the best to hold back the tide of undeath. Even with the artillery coming in, it has been a hard-fought battle. The corpses are really starting to pile up here at the top of our hill. We're even starting to make a little blood pool. But you can see that the zombies now have actually killed all of the Imperial conscripts left on this side of the field. We only have that one squad over here that is protecting the artillery. Unfortunately, though, the rest of the lines have collapsed. The zombies have finally beaten the Cadians over here. Look at this. Cadians just turning them into absolute pace. The point blank range. Oh, that is just devastating. As quickly as the zombies come in, they're as quick as the Cadian forces here are annihilating them. The bodies are really starting to pile up on our pathway. And look at this. How much blood is actually covered over this mountain range now. I do think this is our last stand being enabled here. The sheer weight of numbers of zombies against the skeleton crew of defenders here has been really, really insane. Oh, this battle's been fantastic, man. Watching the zombies try to collapse the lines one by one and just having to pile up all the corpses has been really cool. And even now, they're piling them up on this little flat plateau that we've got. They're really struggling to push this area. This artillery gun, man. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's a good job this notion of sink is friendly fire. But look what it's doing. It's actually shooting some zombies into itself. That could be dangerous, my guy. You don't want to be doing that. We really need these artillery guns to stay alive for as long as possible. But I do think the fates of the guardsmen might be sealed at this point. It is only a matter of time before their defenses are overwhelmed. Unless these Canadians here can pull out some overwhelming victory. Despite the insane numbers. I do think as all these bodies start to pile up, it just makes it easier and easier for the zombies to actually path up and swarm them. Look at that, though. We have turned a lot of the zombies into paste, quite frankly. <laughs> I love how they're coming as the zombies come up over this one part here. They just get lit up so hard. Straight into a death core line, supported by Cadians and artillery. It's not a good day to be a zombie. It's not a good day to be on either side, to be quite frank. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be an Imperial or a zombie in this fight. Though I guess if I was a zombie, I wouldn't really care about it, because I'd be a zombie. So, you know, at least the fear's already over. <laughs> I want to see some of these body piles as well at the bottom. Just look at these magnificent little beauties here. Corpse architecture, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this is. Corpse architecture. Looks like we've been plowing fields with corpses in them. We've been growing zombies. <laughs> this is really weird as well, how the terrain breaks them all up. Kind of insane. Let's go back down here. Can we see any other crazy body piles? We did have one that was meant to be starting over this side from where they were killing. We've also got this tiny little blood lake. Oh, no. This might be 
Is this a... No, it's just not deep enough for little Timmy. Oh, that is so unfortunate. But I can't... Oh, can you tell on uh, YouTube? I don't know. Maybe the compression will ruin it, but you can definitely see this massive streak here of where all the bodies have piled up. Oh, yeah, you can. You can see them definitely here. Look at that. It's like a, a, we've full load out just in between them. We can plant some lovely caterers in there. Oh, no. When I was thinking about potatoes, the zombies actually managed to push up to the top here. Damn you, potatoes. You distracted me from my defense. <laughs> oh, God. Even the Canadians are now under full assault. The zombies pushing up right into them. Their guns tried to train on them. They're putting out the hurt into them. So many zombies are dying in this area, actually, man. That is some point blank hardcore gunfire. But they are getting through. Oh, artillery gun guns. I salute you. You've always been the masters in this game. From the moment that they introduced you to this very moment now. You guys have given me so much entertainment and watch, watching things fly through the air. Ah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming down. Look at this. How how slow the Imperials are actually losing troops. They've still got 1,700. It was not long ago I said they had 2,000. In that time, the zombies have lost like an extra 100,000. They're at a quarter of a million losses. Actually, it's more than that. We're coming up to half of the zombie force actually being killed here. Because, yeah, like I said, the environmental effects of them guns. Oh, my God. Just look at this, though. I'd actually, like, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I'd sort of love to just go into a helicopter and just hover around and see. Maybe a drone would be a better option. Sit on some skyscraper somewhere and just go around with a drone watching these crazy defences. That's what this game always feels like to me. It's like, oh, it's the end of the world. Get the drone out. Let's go record it, upload it to YouTube. <laughs> And even after I'm dead, hit that notification bell, guys. You never know. You might get a video from beyond the grave. <laughs> oh, God. The poor old zombies here have taken such a pounding, man. They're finally getting the revenge on the artillery guns, though. I think they're trying to bury them in corpses, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's certainly... Maybe Maybe we will actually get there at some point, because, my God, look at them all flying everywhere. A stupendous amount of bodies has been built up at the top of our plateau. We've got a lovely little rubber ducky lake here. I mean, it's not quite fun for the entire family, but little Timmy is certainly pleased. Here we go. That's it. Enough have died now that the zombies can amass their forces around them. Oh, my God. The last stand here. I mean, it's going to be a bit ironic that, you know, the Cadians fell before... Uh, before the guard did. <laughs> but look, they put up a magnificent defence. Like I said, there was about, what, 12, 13,000 defenders. The fact that they've killed almost 500,000 zombies. Pretty damn impressive. Actually, can we actually... You know what we'll do at the end of this again? We'll clear out the zombies with a nuke and we'll go and see if we can actually see some of these body piles because I want to see what's under like these down here and especially along this pathway as well oh man my poor artillery guns now under right old siege oh no we just lost one look at these nomers pushing in they know that blood and guts is on the menu and they are damn well hungry you know what I'd love to get some of the uh the special infected from Left 4 Dead. Just add them into the mix. A couple of boomers, the smokers, maybe a couple of chargers. I think they'd be really cool. But yeah, it does look like <laughs> the last stand here for the Imperials. Look at that, just surrounded by a sea of grey. The back fighting. Expending every last bit of ammo that they have, trying to hold them back. But it's not enough. So it is going to come down to the conscript line over here with their artillery gun. Oh, look at this. We have got another blood laker. I didn't see this one. Have we got a little Timmy approved one yet? Oh, very nearly. It's almost there. It's not quite it, unfortunately. Little Timmy's a little bit sad. 
considering how much blood has been spilled today, little Timmy is a little bit sad. Let's go exploring down here, actually. Let's go try this one out again. Oh, it's so close. So for it to be a little Timmy late, the blood has to go above the camera at the top. Now, have we got any out here? Have any escaped our grasp? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe, maybe. No, that's, that's a little infant lake again. Oh, it's very sad. I'm sorry, little Timmy. Maybe this one has grown since we last checked it. Let's go have a look. I'm not too hopeful. Uh, no, not quite. I'm very sorry, little Timmy. Let's go back up here, though. God. This area here, look at that. We've got this weird little strip that is just completely... Oh, it's because blood is actively flowing down this area. So when it gets clear like this, sometimes it means that blood is actually... Yeah, there you go. It's flowing down it. It's a little bit weird. So all Arcadians now have fallen. It is down to this. <laughs> the final stand of the conscripts against the final remaining 566,000 zombies. What we're going to quickly do is just time-lapse this and let's get our final kill counter. Then we'll drop a nuke and have a look at the corpses. We'll be back in a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're down to our last few there. There we go. Two Imperial Guardsmen remaining somewhere on the map. You know what? We're going to leave them alive because this way we can go and clear out all the zombies. And let's go have a look. So the first body pile that I want to have a look at is this one down here, hidden under all these zombies. Let's go clear it out. Look. Oh, my God. Look at the fine paste already as the, sm <laughs> as the smoke clears. And we continually add to the pile. Look at that. Holy mother of God. The zombies are raining down on us. Let's, let's stick it in slow-mo. <laughs> Look at them all. Oh, that was a lot of zombies that we just sent tumbling down. Now, the next pile that I want to have a look at was over here. Oh, look at that. We killed so many coming up this little area. It took them a very long time. Now, let's go have a look at the last stand area. Let's clean the zombies off here. Thank you very much, zombies. I have a fantastic journey into the outer limits of space. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Look, man. There's so many. Oh, my God. There is literally added on to the mountain here. The zombies rain down from the sky now also. But look at that. That's absolutely fantastic. And the pathway down here. This is the road of death. Oh my god, there are so many piled up so high. Oh my god, that is an absolutely fantastic battle there. I really enjoyed that. Wait, look at this as well. We've even got massive piles of bodies over here. I didn't even notice these that had been piled up at the bottom. But I really hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, because I know I did. And as always, I do hope you had a blast. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped to keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the Chaotic Pinky Store. We've got some amazingly cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.